Hi everyone, well guess what, I have got another of the Schmincke Horadam uh, retro sets. This one is the six tubes rather than the half pans. Those are the colours and you also get six um, empty half pans with this one. So um, this is the back. This is what this set looks like. And you will see you've got big mixing spaces at the top. Let's see if I can get in it. There we go. And then it comes with six tubes and you can see you've actually got some space and it comes with these empty half pans. And then at the bottom here, you've got more mixing space. Um, it does also give you another little leaflet talking about um, how they were, uh, how they started in 1881 um, and that they've been producing high quality artists' paints since then. It began modestly um uh before it became what it is to uh today and in this particular set you do have cochineal red so um i'm assuming this is a limited edition but the colors that you get that i will be swatching on this card that comes with it are cadmium yellow deep which is number 226, Cochineal Red, number 337, Cobalt Blue Light, number 487, Cobalt Green Pure, number 535, Raw Umber, number 667, and Sepia Brown, number 662. So these are the Schmincke Horodam. Um, and obviously the Cochineal is a um, natural um it might not be one that um, some of you will be interested in um, for various reasons. but um, So I am going to swatch these out and then do some uh, colour mixes. So to do that, initially, I think I'm going to put a little bit in each and put them here. quite like the idea of having a palette that I can actually put some 5mm tubes in um, as well as some half pans. I think it's quite a nice uh, idea. So let's just start by um, swatching these out. So this is our cadmium yellow deep. Followed by the cochineal that I'm really quite intrigued with. Oh wow. Mm. Oh that's rather lovely. And then we have our cobalt blue light. I do love a cobalt blue. I 
don't think I've ever had a cobalt green before. So this will be, oh wow. I know some people don't like the cobalt, but um, I'm not fussed. I don't mind. We've got our raw umber. some sepia brown Ooh. I obviously managed to get a bigger blob there there we go there's my cloth there we go so those let me just move that out of the way for a moment oh I forgot to do my forgot to do my swatch card let's just quickly do that There we go, there is our swatch card. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna dry these off and then I'll come back and we'll do some mixes. So I'm just gonna bring these up so that you can see them a bit better. Cadmium Yellow Deep, Cochineal Red, stunning. Cobalt Blue Light, love it. Cobalt Green Pure, really like that too. Raw Umber and sepia brown. So I think that these are really nice colours. So let's now um, see what mixes we can get. Make sure we're in view. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by mixing the Cadmium Yellow Deep with all of the other five colours. So let's start by Mixing it with the cochineal red, which gives us quite a, a dark colour there, but watered down. There we go. That's still rather nice. Now we're going to mix our cadmium yellow deep with our cobalt light blue. That's pretty too. And then we'll just water that down a bit more over here. Next, we're mixing the yellow with the cobalt green pure. Might need a bit more water there. I'll we'll just water that down a bit here. Next, mixing it with the raw umber. In fact, it looks like I need a bit more raw umber. I don't think I put enough in. Bear with, as they say. Bear with, bear with. That's better. So here we go, 
a real mustardy kind of colour. And then a bit more water down. There we are. And finally, we are going to mix our yellow with sepia. It's a lovely earthy colour. Which it would be mixed with sepia. There we go. So that is all of our mixes. That's what they look like in the mixing tray. That's mixing our yellow with all of the other colours. So now we're going to mix our cochineal which has already been done with the yellow so we're gonna mix that with the other four colors so we need some cobalt blue We need some cobalt green in there. We need, what is this, raw umber. And we also need sepia. Okay, so I've got my little dots in there ready and I think I could probably do with some clean water. So I'm just going to swap out my not so clean water with some nice clean water. There we go. So cochineal and cobalt blue light. Oh, lovely. Ooh. Give it a good mix up. And then we need to water that down a bit more. There we go. Okay, now we're mixing the cochineal with the cobalt green pure. Oh, this is a nice olivey green. Oh, look at that. These mixes are, I would have to say these are probably better mixes than... I had with the half pans. Now let's mix the cochineal with raw umber and see what happens. Oh, that gives us a really deep, glorious colour. Just water that down a bit more. And finally, the cochineal with the sepia. Oh, I can see that that's going to be glorious. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Well, it probably show more when I water it down, I think. It's a lovely colour. Okay, I'm going to need another mixing palette, but this is what our mixing palette is looking like so far. And I'm going to hang on to those and use them rather than waste them. But I'm now going to move on to this mixing palette. And what do we need to do next? I did these in the wrong order. 
but never mind. So we'll do the cobalt green. And we need to mix that with raw amber and sepia, okay. Umber. CPO. So I'm not sure if I had enough raw umber there. Let's just and rest that. It seems that when mixing you probably need a bit more raw umber than you think. That's better. So And then we'll just let that water down a bit more. And then we can mix our cobalt green pure with our sepia brown. Oh, I think I watered that down too much. There we go. I actually really like some of these greens. That, oh gosh, cochineal and cobalt green. You can definitely see the two colours in there. That is quite fascinating. Right, next we need to mix cobalt blue with the remaining three colours that it hasn't already been mixed with. So we'll put those there, one, two, three. And we're going to mix it with cobalt green, raw umber. Let's put a bit more of that down there. And sepia, like so. Okay. So cobalt light blue and cobalt green pure. Will we get a kind of an aqua? Oh, oh! I'll bring this up in a moment. That's rather lovely. There we have that watered down. It's like a cobalt green turquoise. Now with raw umber. Oh, wow. I am so impressed with this. Look at that. These mixes are just glorious. So here we go. Let's mix our cobalt blue with the sepia. Sepia is quite strong. Let's add a bit more cobalt blue. Ah, there we go. This is a really deep kind of Payne's grey kind of colour almost. Well, it's almost a black actually. And that just leaves us to mix raw umber. with sepia. Oops. 
which should give us more of a chocolatey brown. There we go. Oh, perfect. And there we have it watered down. Let's just move my... So I will just bring my mixing tray up. Look at all of that. Glorious. Um, when you look at my two palettes those colors are heavenly so with our mixes you can see we get some really wonderful colors look at that one isn't that marvelous some of these are still a bit wet but i am just hugely impressed with the mixing capabilities of this little of this set I think it's marvelous I'm more impressed with this one than I was with the half pans so there we have it we have the Schmincke retro horror dam watercolors six five mil tubes with the space of, to put in uh, six half pans. They are empty. You can put in what you would like. But I, I think personally, I might just fill them up with the six colours and then have my tubes to just refill. Um, I'm, I'm loving this set. I hope you do too. And um, I will see you again next time. Please remember to subscribe if you can and um, take care.